My name is Kat Kopok. Uh, I am a visual artist and curator based in Adelaide, South Australia. Um, you may know me if you're local, you may know me from uh, such projects as the Art Vital Spectacular or up until recently I was running an art um, studio and event space called Mixed Spice Creative Studios that was uh, in town. My art practice is uh, multidisciplinary, so it expands multiple fields. Uh, I do drawing, painting, um, photography. I've been training myself up in design and the uh, digital sort of realm as well, We're teaching myself how to digitally paint, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and then also on, a, on another side, going into recently, very recently, going into more textiles based using upcycled and recycled fabrics and turning those into beautiful things uh, to try and take that, that textile weight out of, a little bit more of textile weight out of, out of the landfill. Up until recently I ran a gallery, uh, art studio and events venue, uh, so I didn't really have a lot of time to create and make as an artist so much because I was spending a lot of a lot of my hours um, creating and maintaining a space for other people to create and make. My art largely reflects my lived experience through uh, symbologies. So basically what a symbology is, is uh, you identify a, a, a symbol or a metaphor to a particular feeling or experience that you have going on in your life. I used art very much when I was a, a kid to um, sort of escape. Yeah, so I was doing bullied at school and home wasn't great. Um, so I spent a lot of my time drawing and reading um, to sort of try and get away from that. And art has always had a very prevalent role in my life. Uh, it helps me to frame things in a way that words can't really encompass. Since I was like a teenager in high school, um, I've been pretty influenced by the Surrealists and uh, their work in deconstructing what is acceptable visual language. Um, and the flip side of that which is building their own visual language out of their own symbologies and their own um, their own metaphors and that's something that's sort of very encouraged uh, in art school as well. So over time I've sort of developed my own sort of symbolic way of, of my, my emotions or my concerns. You know with politics and stuff for you know my euphorias as well I guess you know like there is definitely a lot of, of paintings of Ascending women with halos. I feel that 2020 for me has been uh, a difficult year. Same as a lot of a lot of people out there. I feel I've had a bit of a, a rough time. My art practice has really ebbed and flowed with my emotional state. I feel like I haven't been making as much as I should, could have been or should be, but just the fact that it is there is really reassuring. I mean, at the very least, I've got something to do with my hands while I'm having an existential crisis. <laughs> um, and, and doing things like the, like the rug actually has been really good for that because it's, it's a meditative process. So while my head's like zzz, all over the shop, I've got something to, to keep me grounded and keep me present in the moment, but it's not something that I really have to think too much about because it's the same action over and over again. And that's been really, really good, actually. And um, so, you know, when I'm not really in a place to be making symbolic work, you know, like drawings and paintings and stuff like that, you know, I've still, I've still got proof of my existence and proof of my process. Um, and that's really, really grounding and I think is really valuable um, to just, yeah, so just, you know, keep, keep making. It sucks and it's hard and it's boring and it's, you know, quite often you don't love it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's important to just keep making, you know, at the very least you, you've got proof that you're here, whatever that means.